Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2, which will be KB5031455. And this is now rolling out to the insiders in the release preview channel, which Microsoft made available on the 12th of October, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, the release preview channel, as many of you will know, um, is your last point of call before uh, the update rolls out to the stable version. So if you do decide to install the, op the update, because it is an optional update, um, the OS build will be bumped up to 22621.2500. Currently, we are on 2428. Um, so it'll be somewhere in that point release vicinity. Now we get one new feature and it's to do with the so-called search box gleam. Now Microsoft says that the update affects the search highlight gleam in the search box. When you select the gleam, a bing.com page will appear for the daily search highlight. And just take note though, this will only be available to a small percentage of users and then Microsoft says they will roll it out more broadly in the months to follow. Now that's interesting because I am still waiting for the search box Gleam hover experience that Microsoft rolled out uh, a couple of updates ago, which will appear should appear here as an option on the taskbar settings page to turn off the hover experience. So as an example, if you hover over the search box, um, it'll launch the search fly out instead of clicking on it. But I, I still haven't received that yet. And they're already working on the next search box Gleam update. So very interesting. But nonetheless, that's considered to be a new feature. Then we have three regional changes. I'm just going to mention these. Um, there are changes to the English name um, of the former Republic of Turkey. Uh, the update supports the currency change in Croatia from the Kuna to the Euro. And it also supports daylight saving time changes in Syria. So there we've got three regional changes taking place with this next optional update. And then it also addresses two memory leaks. Now those are two important fixes because memory leaks obviously are where your device is using excess memory. So I would consider any, any memory leak issue to be an important fix and we're getting two of them. So two memory leak fixes rolling out which I think will increase and boost the performance of the OS. And then the update addresses an issue that affects touch screens. Apparently, they do not work properly when you use more than one display. And then if we just head over quickly to the settings page and we head to personalization once again, this time dynamic lighting. And this dynamic lighting is a feature that rolled out with the Moment 4 feature update. Um, which lets you control the lighting of your RGB devices and, X, and peripherals and so on. And uh, um, apparently the update addresses an issue that affects uh, the dynamic lighting. Apparently the default provider was not applied as expected and this was occurring when you set it up using unattended files. So that's a dynamic lighting fix that's rolled out. And then we also get an update that addresses an issue with a Microsoft Store. Apparently the store stopped responding when you access it from Windows Mixed Reality. So that's the Windows Mixed Reality uh, headsets as an example. And then just to mention a couple of uh, printing issues that have been addressed. And I do find that there are always bug fixes that roll out for printing issues. And the first of three is the update addresses an issue that occurs when you use universal print. Apparently um, when you browse the tree view structure the tree, do, the, the tree nodes do not work as you would expect. And then we've got a Outlook printing issue. Apparently, um, this was occurring when you print to an internet printing protocol, RPP printer that has a slow response time. So that was affecting Outlook. And it also addresses an error that occurs when you print using V4 print drivers. So three printing fixes rolling out. And then just two more to go through. Um, if you do use a PowerShell, um, which I basically use on a day-to-day -day basis in my OS, the update addresses an issue that affects PowerShell versions greater than 7.3.1. So if you have a newer version of PowerShell installed, um, that should address any issues. And um, the update also improves the performance um, of the search box experience. So quite a bit of focus on that search box with this update. Now there are 
a whole lot of other bug fixes that are rolling out, but I just thought I'd mention um, a couple that I thought would interest you. And um, because this is in its final stages of testing, if we head to the calendar, um, we can expect the update to roll out in the fourth week of the month. So I would suggest starting the Tuesday um, Tuesday, the 24th of October, we should start seeing this optional bug fix start rolling out. And there's no mention as yet if this is going to start including uh, the Mo sorry the 23H2 feature update. Um, no word yet from any release notes or official announcement from Microsoft if this optional update is going to start pushing out uh, the 23H2 feature update. But of course, if that does change, obviously I'll post and let you guys know ASAP. But that's our next optional bug fix update, KB5031455. Um, which is now in its final stages of testing and should be rolling out over the next week or two. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.